This is the final video of the Antix Fluxbox customization series and today we will go through customization of Tint 2 and uh, so that we can replace the Conky or if, if not we will do a better Conky with changing also the wallpaper. So let us start. So first we need to install a browser. So we go to the control center. You can do it in the terminal, but I will show you another way. Software here, package installer. You put the password and you go for browser. So you press it here and we click install. It's always better to do things in the terminal, but uh, there's some things you, you will get uh, all the options here and you can check it if you don't know which application you want to install. So I'll put yes here. Uh, so let it install and here we'll have a look at here if you want you could have chosen all of these browsers there is also th some themes you can install it has three themes you can install also it is a good idea to install packages using these it, it didn't have any problems with me for the installation so you can uh, you can install it without the hassle of using the terminal let us see here what happened so it has finished exit yes so here because we did the icon and now we have firefox we can click it we'll search for mx conky dash data we want to replace the conky that we have so we need to search for this item Okay, so we take the, f the first one and we have all of these you can try. These are themes for, for the Conky, all of them. So first we have to go here and download the zip file. Save, okay. Okay, finished. Let me close it. So here, if you notice, we have this this conkey. This conkey is using around, let me check here. You go to applications, system, task manager. This conkey is using around 9.2. The new conkey that we will install, it will get around 20 to 25 megabytes. So it is not bad. So before we install these, let me go to the terminal and install something. We'll say sudo apt install conky dash all. This conky dash all, it will allow us to install the Lua scripts that are included. So what it says here, the following package will be removed, the legacy one. This is the legacy one that we have. And it will, all the script that we will use now is Lua scripts. So do you want to continue? Yes. So it's finished. First, let us look at the, at the browser, file browser. In the downloads, we have this file. I click on it. It will extract. I press and go inside. I need this common pink. These are all conky data that you need, but the one that we need with MX is this one. What you have to do is, you take this one, put it here, bring another one here. This one, put it into home. Take the Lua and put it here. and take this common this file and put it here okay so here what we will do is the following this mx common pink roboto we replace it with the conky rc lua so here what we will do is i will rename this one 
I put it Lua dash one rename and here this one I will rename it to dot conkey RC dash Lua. So now this was this is now the default conkey for Lua. If you notice we have conkey RC and conkey RC dash Lua before. The conkey RC is for the legacy one and the other one for the Lua script one. So we rename. So our file is this one. What I will do is I will put it here. So when I press directly here, it will give me the conkey whenever I want it. So I'll go to config here, add. I will put here conkey MX. The command, it is conkey minus C dot conkey RC dash Lua. And the icon, it is user share icons, papyrus antics, 4848 apps, and we search for con, k, conkey, open, accept. We have it here now. We reload, and we have now the conkey here. I press on it. So I have now this conkey. Before we continue with the tin two, let us change the wallpaper. Choose wallpaper. I'll check another one. Set this one. It's not bad. Always in this these cases you need to right click. So now we have to go to tin two settings. So to go to tin two tin two settings, we go here. So let us go here. And press tint tint two. We have the panel configurator here. Double click. So what we will do is we need to go to the panel items and we need to add two uh, scripts. One script will give me the memory, and one script will give me the CPU percentage. So we go here, executor, we'll add one here, another one. So we need two scripts, script one, script two. We need the location is before the, the clock. So we go up here and the second one is here. So the executor one, we need to have a command. This command is a, a simple script. So here the command is, we, we write top minus bn1 and then we need to search for something starting with the percentage and after we start with the percentage we have to print the fourth item and the sixth item after we print the fifth, fourth and the sixth item we need to Put them on two lines there is a tutorial I will put a tutorial uh, the link for any for the information that I am putting here in case you are interested okay and then later on here I will change the font I will make it 9 okay the font let me put it as white I hate this one let me put it like this one white Okay, apply and as you can see it has put these two here if you want to update it directly what you will have to do is on the left click so you copy this one and you paste it okay here the interval is specify the interval at which the command is executed if zero the command is executed only once so if you want to execute it every one second, you have to put here one. And you hit apply. So this is the executor one. For the executor two, we'll use the same thing, but we'll also use the same command minus B and one. We need to search for MIB 
M. After we search for it, I want it to print the eighth item. Okay, and here we go down. I will leave it 10.5 because it is only one line. The color I will put it as this white. Okay, and apply. So I have this 246.7 is now the RAM. If you want, you can put here in the tooltip text, I put RAM. And in executor one, I will put here CPU. I hit apply. So now when you look at here, it will tell me CPU. If I look here, it will give me the RAM. RAM and CPU. There's one thing we need to add if you want. We can add also a volume icon. And the volume icon is we need to add a button. Let us go to panel items. We need to add a button. And this button will place it directly before the clock here. This button 3. Is now. So we look at now button 3. The command, the icon, we need to add an icon. Let us go to file browser. We go user, share, icons, user, share, ICO, icons, Papyrus Antics, 48 by 48, apps, VOL, we can use this one, iTunes. We copy it, we paste it here, so now we have an icon, and this icon, let me remove this, and this icon, if you left click it, it will put yet dash volume, this is a command, apply, so we have now this icon, I click on it, I can check, uh, increase or decrease the volume, by using this one okay